He fled Germany in 1936, shortly before World War II. He settled in the United States, where he studied literature at UC Berkeley. He did not excel in anything in particular during his youth. However, by the 1990s, he was one of the most successful art dealers of all time. In 2000, he sold part of his huge collection, including Picasso's, Brock's, Cleese, and Matisse's to the German government for over 100 million euros. The private market value of the collection exceeded $1 billion. It was so helpful to the German government that they considered it a donation. For his achievements, Heinz Bergruen was named Commander of the Legion of Honor by the French government received the Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany, was awarded an honorary doctorate in humane letters, and was made an honorary citizen of Berlin. The reality is that art is as subjective as it seems. The question on everyone's mind is, how could Heinz have foreseen what would become the most valuable works of the century? Some might think it was skill or luck. However, the answer comes from a third and much simpler reason. Quantity. As the investment firm Horizon Research put it bluntly, large investors buy large amounts of art, the firm writes. A subset of the collection turns out to be a great investment and is held for a sufficient period of time to allow the performance of the portfolio to converge with the performance of the best items in the portfolio. That's all that happens. Perhaps 99% of the works that someone like McGruin acquired during his lifetime will turn out to be of little value. But that doesn't matter if the other 1% turns out to be the work of someone like Picasso. And you may ask, what does this have to do with trading? The principle that made Heinz's fortune works not only for art, but for real estate and the stock market. While most stocks go up and down unpredictably, the market as a whole grows, as was the case with Heinz's art collection. It's so difficult to predict candlestick patterns that even 90% of investors who actively buy and sell in the stock market earn less than the market average. And studies show that the same is true for more than 99% of day traders. So, the first key idea is to follow the advice of Jack Vogel, founder of Vanguard, the world's largest mutual fund manager with more than $8 trillion in assets. Don't look for the needle in the haystack, you better buy the haystack. Buying index funds will allow you to grow. I'll tell you how much in tomorrow's key idea. Look for it in your inbox tomorrow. Cheers.